All right, people, what's up? Wanted to make this quick little video to take a look at some of the bench press numbers for wide receivers and tight ends. Um, quarterbacks didn't do the bench press, and honestly, do we even need to see the quarterback's bench press anyway? Would we learn anything from that? I don't know. So, wide receivers, tight ends... This is stuff that isn't captured in their on-field workouts. It's done the day after. So my videos yesterday did not really talk about this, but I want to go ahead and throw it in just so we have a complete picture of how these guys did at this particular drill. So bench pressing, what did the receivers do? Well, we actually had some pretty good results. So frame of reference here, the combine record for the last 20 years for bench press reps by a wide receiver is 27. 27 done by several players, including DK Metcalf and Nikhil Harry. So the fact that we had a guy post up 23 bench press reps in Michael Wilson, that's actually pretty good. So Michael Wilson is a guy who already was turning heads with his combine. He probably turned a few more by posting the best bench press numbers of any receiver. Uh, you go over to his profile, he's got the size, 6'2", 213 pounds, pretty big. Arms are maybe a little bit short, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Hands are a decent size. Now, some of his measurables aren't great, like the 40-yard dash, 4.6. This is clearly going to be more of a big-bodied guy who goes up and gets it, more than he is somebody who's going to outrun everybody. 4.58 40 time is not ideal, but the 10-yard split is workable, 1.5 flat. His vertical jump, pretty good. Broad jump, pretty decent. Nothing over the top here, nothing crazy. I mean, he, of all the uh, receivers at the Combine, only ranked 72 in his athleticism score, so it's not by any means anything over the top. But Michael Wilson is a name to keep an eye on here. Um, this bench press rep indicates that he's a stronger guy, maybe somebody who can do some really good blocking at the next level, like you typically see from these receivers that are bigger and do bench press, like Nikhil Harry and DK Metcalf have both proven to be good blockers at the next level, largely, be largely because of their functional strength. So I think that's the main takeaway here. Michael Wilson was already getting some pretty positive reviews, although it wasn't anything over the top. It was... He, he was starting to boost his draft stock a little bit. I think this boosts his draft stock maybe even a little bit more. I don't know where he's going to go in the draft. I don't think he's like a top prospect at this point, but keep an eye on him. And if you're looking for a bigger wide receiver who can block on the outside for you, Michael Wilson might be the best in this draft. The only other thing I want to draw attention to here was my boy Andre. My boy Andre from Princeton. 19 reps, pretty good. Now, Andre's a bigger guy, so it makes sense that he would be able to turn in a decent number of reps. And don't get me wrong, 19 is not anything crazy. Um, of the receivers that did the bench press, the low was actually 13. So Andre was a little above average. And a lot of these guys, by the way, that actually do the bench press are not the big, big time receivers. Um, you'll notice Jordan Addison is not here. Um, um, Jackson Smith, the hyphen, is not here. Uh, Quentin Johnston is not here. The big guys don't typically do it. It's not that big of a deal. I think that the smaller guys, the not blue chip guys, do it to try to prove they have some aspect to their game that might get them on a roster. But it was still above average. And you guys know that I liked what Andre was bringing to the table at the Combine the day before, so I'm certainly going to like it now. So that to me would be the main stuff I'm taking from the receiver bench press. Not a ton. It's not the most important thing in the world. I think we all know that tight end bench press is maybe a little more meaningful. Unfortunately, the results were not great. To give you the frame of reference, the combine record over the last 20 years for tight end bench press is 35. I can't remember who did it, but I know the current combine record is 25 is 35 in this combine we had three guys do 23 so nobody was going anywhere near that record nobody even touched it so on that front not a great crop but of the guys that we have i can say this zach Kuntz killed it 
He's already doing all this phenomenal athletic stuff. Now he's tying for the lead of all tight ends in the bench press. <laughs> oh boy, sign me up. Let's go. And again, I don't know how the Seahawks could make it work unless they're willing to carry uh, three, four tight ends on their roster, which very rarely happens. But Zach Kuntz just had probably the best combine of any tight end. And I include Darnell Washington in that. Like, an Old Dominion tight end just put himself in a position where I don't know how he doesn't at least get drafted. And I'm starting to feel like somebody's actually going to take a shot at him a lot earlier than you might expect. Like, what what else do you want? He's got speed. He's got agility. He's in, got an, He's a good athlete. Good size. Now he's bench pressing 23 reps. Again, on the curve. It was the best that we had of this class. Like, that is bringing a lot of really nice stuff to the table. So... Um, the, a guy who I thought was a big winner the day before wins again. Also, Darnell Washington, this, to the surprise of nobody, did pretty well. 21 reps, not killer. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more, but it's good enough. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of these guys kind of run together here. Like, the, the you have a few guys who did 23. You have Darnell Washington who did 21. And then you have a bunch of guys who did 20. And then one guy who did 16. So, there's only so much data we have here to go with, but... Look, Darnell Washington, he's a great catcher. You guys saw that great one-handed catch he made during his workout. Great blocker, uh, massive, good athlete for his size. Like, the, I don't think I need to sell people on Darnell Washington anymore, but he turned in a pretty decent number of reps, just two off the uh, top. And also, I got to give a shout-out to Will Mallory, who was the fastest tight end in the draft. Now, he's more undersized. He's a Jacob Hollister of a tight end. He's somebody who uh, gives up a lot of ground in, to a guy like uh, Zach Koontz in terms of height and weight, but he was able to return in a respectable 20 reps. Uh, like, if you put somebody like a... I don't mean to beat up on him, but you would expect a guy like a Jacob Hollister to do bench press reps and maybe be able to do, like, eight. <laughs> so the fact that Will Mallory was able to prove that he's a good athlete and also able to give you 20 reps is nice as well. But um, that's really about all you can really say from this. Again, a decent chunk of the guys didn't do it. Like Darnell Washington doing it is actually a little bit surprising to me because he's probably a second-round pick. But you do notice that Michael Mayer did not do it. Um, again, it's an area where the people who have something to prove will typically do it. I, I, um, I wouldn't expect the top guys to necessarily do it unless they know they're going to kill it. Like back in the day, Vernon Davis... I think Vernon Davis did like 33. And Vernon Davis was always going to be a uh, top half of the first round pick, but he knew he was going to kill the bench press. So why wouldn't he do it? Just to say that, hey, look what I can do. Come draft me. So that is the bench press data that we have. Nothing huge, but I do feel like this puts a few players into a more positive light here. So let me know what you guys think down below. Did it change your perspective on any of these guys do you wish more people did it? Because it's a short list. But that's what I'm taking away from it. See you guys later on. Go Hawks. Should be on Twitch tonight. Probably doing more Woe Long. Hope to see you there. And uh, yeah, Combine coming to a close.